Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your cardio mobility and deep stretch workout. So this is a body weight only workout where we are going to start with some cardio mobility. We'll start in a standing position. We'll work our way down to the mat and we will get a deep stretch. So I think you're gonna leave this workout feeling good and feeling relaxed. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just a mat and a little bit of space to move. Are you ready? Let's do it. So let's start just by getting centered. You can take a few rolls to the shoulders. Just take your feet about shoulder width apart. Soften in the knees. Take one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And just take a few deep breaths. So if you can be thinking about that TA breathing, inhale to expand all the way around, back, belly, sides, exhale, pull everything in and up. Don't think too hard on the TA breathing. We just want to center ourselves. And then I want you to take a minute and think about your posture. And you think about stacking your ears over your shoulders, shoulders over your rib cage, rib cage right over the pelvis. So lining up those ribs and your hip bones, hip bones over the knees, over the ankles. And just feel how that feels in your body. Pay particular attention to your rib cage and your pelvis. We tend to be a little bit further out or in. So just trying to keep that in alignment, feeling that core connection as you correct that posture. And let's just take a few big deep breaths in. So you can take your feet out a little wider, deep breath in and out at your own pace. So this, we really are reaching up. You're still thinking about that TA breathing, 360 breathing all the way around, but more to get that reach. One more. And right here, let's just tap and reach it over. So we're starting this workout just with a little cardio mobility. So movements that are going to get the blood flowing, get a little gentle cardio, nothing high impact, but to get our muscles warm, which is really gonna help us as we move into that deep stretch. This deep stretch is something that you all have asked me about for a long time. We have a lot of mobility, flexibility, Pilates, yoga, bar, and we have a few shorter stretch videos, but we wanted to make one that was a little bit longer so you could have something that was true active recovery on those active recovery days. So now let's reach across here. And I really want you to think about all of this workout, but especially the cardio mobility. What do you need in this moment? Do you need more of that stretch, that mobility, taking a little bit slower? Maybe that's where you are today. Maybe you've got some energy to burn and it really feels good for you to pick up your pace a bit. You can do that as well. What do you need? This is your workout. So as I always say, you do you and be where you are today. Now let's reach it down. So reach and reach. You can take that hand behind right through here. You wanna get even lower and get that mobility right through here. <coughs> Excuse me. We got four, three, two, and one. Let's take it out nice and wide. Big stretch, reach it up. Big stretch, and up. So mobility movements that will also get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing. And then when we go into the deep stretch, we're gonna do some stretches that we're gonna hold for an extended period of time. Can you step into it? Step out, step in, reach up. Step out, little hinge forward on that. Again, so we get that mobility right through here. Yes, open wide and up. Generally, when we do a stretch at the end of our workouts, we really don't get a lot of time. I try to get you in and out. So we just do a few minutes right through here. Let's roll those hips. Yes. So we're not holding things super long. We usually do two to three to four minutes of stretching at the end of a workout. But as I always remind you, it's not just about the stretching you do during or after a workout. It's getting that flexibility and mobility throughout your week, your weeks, your days, your months. 
Let's keep that little march right through here. Let's take it across. That is what we're going for. Flexibility, mobility throughout, not just those few minutes at the end of a workout. Right here, and again, you can keep it low impact, you can keep it slow, you can do more or less of a torso rotation, whatever you need in this moment. If you wanna pick up your pace, you can do that as well. Whew, I feel my heart rate getting up, feels good. Gentle cardio always surprises me that my heart rate gets up and it always feels really good. It's a nice little touch on these active recovery days. We got four, three, two, one. Now let's do some little hamstring curls. So I want you to flex the feet, looks like this, up and up. So you're really trying to open up in the hip flexor. Yes, you're squeezing in the hamstring. You can add some arms, let's take them low. We'll start with them here. Again, if you want a little more, you can add a little squat with it, you can add a little power, you can add a little jump, or you just keep it here. Breathing into it. Let's take those hands across our chest. Chest opener. And I'm just switching over and under, but don't overthink it. Just right through here. Yes. And let's take it up high. Reach down, pull down. Breathing through it, if it starts to feel like too much, you just slow it down or take the hands down. I needed this stretch today. Now let's take it back low, but we're gonna do a little reach. So still doing the same with the hamstrings, but I want big arms like reverse fly, open up. Looks a little funny, I know, but keep it moving. Breathing into it. And then same thing, open up across your chest, big arms, stretch back. And also just step touch, if that's better for you. Over your head, pull it down, and stretch. You can go all the way down, or just halfway. Yes, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and breathe. All right, so grab a quick sip of water if you need it. We're gonna go into some standing stretches, deep stretches, and then we'll get a little bit more cardio mobility, and then we will take it down to the mat. So right through here, I want you to think about those stretches that we just did. I want you to bring one knee up underneath, and if you need to, grab onto a wall and just bring it up right through here. So either in front or underneath. We're also gonna do this on the mat, so if this doesn't work for you, that's okay. And then if you can, open it up and holding it here. It's pretty hard to do this just standing, so give yourself a little bit of balance. And then bring that foot to the back, and I want you to tilt that hip forward. So just here, tilt the hip forward, Press the heel down in the back. Again, if you need a little balance, go for it here. Feel that calf stretch, hinge into it all the way through the back again. Tilt the hips forward. Breathe. And then go ahead and push off and come up to here if you can. If that's not right for you, bring it here or rest that foot up on a chair. If you can grab behind, again, a little bit of balance. This is just that quad stretch. I want you to think about lifting up with the back of the foot, tilt the hip forward, bringing that knee towards the back so you can really feel it. If you've got that good yoga balance, you can bring it up even more or just keep it here. Ooh. Holding for four, three, two, and one. Let's turn it to the other side. So we're gonna lift that same leg up again, underneath or here. Pulling it up. Grab on if you can. And then open it up. You can also take this from a seated position. Do what feels best for you. These are not easy stretches. The majority of our stretching is gonna be down on the mat, but I wanted to give you a few things from up top where we can get a little bit 
of a better angle. So again, here, tilt that hip forward, press the heel down. Balance or no balance, up to you. Tuck the pelvis, feel that stretch through here. Down. And then bringing it up, taking it here. If that's not right for you, rest it on something or bring it here, tilt the hip forward. Lifting up with the foot. When I say bringing the knee to the back, I'm saying try not to keep it here. Try to either keep it parallel with your leg or lift up a little bit. Again, if you've got that good yoga balance, you wanna be here. We're gonna do a little PNF stretching with this down on the ground as well. And relax it here. So go ahead and take it nice and wide. We're here. And I want you to sit down into that side lunge. Now a few options, grab onto a chair, the wall, whatever you need. If you can be here, go for it. If you can come all the way down, and you can have that heel down or up, it's up to you. But stretching that inner thigh right through here. Find what feels good for you. If it's here, if it's standing, if it's just here, that's okay too. But sitting back, little hinge forward. Walk your hands to the center, and if you are able, I want you to stay right here. So, soft bend in the knees, or lengthen. But get that little stretch, let your head, back and neck, head, back and neck. Relax, you know what I mean. And then, let's shift to that other side. So taking it here, again, trying to turn that toe up if you can. You can be here. If getting low feels good for you, or you can bring it up a little, or you can even be here. It's up to you. And then back through the center. If this doesn't feel good for you, hands on the top of your legs. And let's just shift side to side. Little side lunge, shifting through the hips. And walk your feet in. And I want you to slowly roll it up. So back to a little bit of cardio to bring it up while we keep that stretch. Let's take it flat back down and round it up just like we do. Take it flat down and up. So that's kind of what it looks like. We have a few minutes, five or six or seven minutes so of cardio mobility and then deep stretch, but more of our deep stretch at the end on the mat. We'll be more of the flow. Take it here, hold it here, roll those shoulders. Take it in. A little slower than maybe we do in our warm up. Pressing out gently on the inside of the legs. Yes, you can. And then hold it here. Does this feel okay? Push out gently. Look over your shoulder. And then take it through the other side. Roll the shoulder forward. I know a little leg burn. Maybe we don't need that after yesterday's workout, but that's okay. Slowly walk those feet in. Slowly round it up. You should just reach to the ceiling and pedal your feet. Looks a little funny, right? Kind of like those 80s aerobics we've been doing, or like you're pulling a rope, but I want you to just really lengthen through the top of the head, through the fingertips, right through here, getting everything moving. Breathe. Right through here. Reach it up. Reach it down. Reach it up. Looks like this. Reach it down. Soft into the knees. I don't want anybody rounding in the back here. I want you to take it here and try to go flat, right? Reach. And down. Reach. And down, two more, up, and up, right through here, right here, 
big arms over and under. Taking it through. Stretch long and out to the side. All right, so a little reach. You can do a little soft side bend if you wanna just do the arms and the torso. That works too. Rolling the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist all the way through. Yes, you can. Keeping it moving. We got three, two, one. Take it here. One arm to the back. Keep that torso. We do this a lot in our warm up, right? Same arm, take it forward. Take it forward. Zip it up. Other side, take it back. Reach. Keeping the hand here, if that helps you stay stable in your spine. And then let's take it little windmill. So we're going down my right, your left. Reach up, little hinge, bring it up, take it out. Other side, reach up and hinge. It's a windmill, up, cross over. You can go slower or faster than me, whatever you need. As long as you have good form, reach, windmill, and here, reach, last one, reach, right here. So I want you to just do little taps to the back. You can turn on your mat if you want, because you probably know where this is going, like we've done in our workouts before. We're gonna get some deep stretching through the hips, if you can, I want you to lunge it down, big stretch. So it's up to you. If you just wanna keep it here, I want you to really lift the hands to the ceiling, open up the hip, whatever that means for you. And breathe, reach and up. Lunging or no lunging, up to you. Four, three, two, all right, team, let's hold it here, all right? So if you can, hand on the wall, we're gonna drop the knee down and up. You can also take the hands here. It's a little runner stretch. Drop it down, press it up. Drop it down, press it up. So you can keep it just this small, or if it feels okay to you, you can push back to here. Four, push both heels down, three, Two, one. Can you hold it here? All right, so if this is not right for you, I just want you to get a little hinge here. But if you can take those hands down and keep those legs straight, go for it here. Breathe into that. So a little exhale to get a little deeper. And then let's drop that knee down. Again, if this is right for you. If it's not, you can sit on the edge of the chair and just drop that hip back, or again, keep it standing. But let's go a little forward and back to open up that hip. If you want, little reach and back. Reach and back. Two more. Last one. And I want you to lean forward into that. So whatever feels good for you, maybe walk that front foot out. Lots of hip opening here. You decide what feels good for you. If you wanna open up that front hip a little more, it looks like this, walk it out. A little press. If you wanna lean forward a little more to get that hip flexor stretch, you do what's best for you. A few deep breaths and on the exhale, sink a little deeper. And then one more thing from here, we're gonna take this hand here, you know it. So you can either keep that knee down or, watch me if you can, 
push up out of it. It's that world's greatest stretch. I really want you to rotate through the torso if that's good for you. So reach up. You can lift up on that back knee or you can keep that back knee down and really get that stretch. In some ways, you might feel that a little bit more. So if you can, take that back. And I want you to sit back into a child's pose. <sighs> right? So let's get deep into this child's pose. Don't worry, we're gonna get that other leg too. But I want you to reach those fingertips forward. So we just had office hours in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Someone asked me specifically about if there's someone who's overly flexible, hypermobile, we call that, and they don't feel much in the child's pose. So I gave a couple of suggestions. Taking your knees out a little bit more if you feel that. Trying to shift your hips back a little bit more and then trying to reach those hands forward, really lengthen away. Try those things, see if you feel it a little deeper. And then from here, we're also gonna take big inhales and exhales and on the exhale, try to sink a little deeper. Maybe shift your shoulders side to side, pressing one shoulder down or elbow down towards the mat. Breathe. Find somewhere that's comfortable and just relax into that. You can even rest your head down. and then slowly make your way back up. I know, Woo, we got nice and deep in there. All right, let's take one foot forward. We're coming back to here. Take your time coming up, Woo. A little dizzy, right? So, we're gonna come back to that lunge. So remember, you can be here. You can have your heres hands here. You can just drop it down or you can press back to here. It's up to you, find what is best for you and where you are today. Let's drop that knee in the lunge. Down and up. Or here and up. Or press the heel down, lean into it. This one's a little tougher for me. But I'm still gonna go for it. Four, three, press it up, two, one, yes. See if you can hold that here. If it's here, it's just a little hinge, maybe hand on the wall. If it's here, press the heel down on both feet. Breathe into that, let your head and neck relax. Make sure you're not holding that tension there. And then drop that knee down right here. So shifting forward, maybe I'll turn this way. Let's take it up, a little shift. Hip flexor, reach it up. We're also getting ankle, ankle flexibility, mobility through the front of that leg, the calf, the tibialis. Maybe we can do those arms too. One more. And then hold it here. So you can hinge it over. You can take it here if you want. Again, I'm just turning so you can see you can walk that foot out to create more space and find what is best for you in that position. If you're just holding, if you're leaning forward more or less, if your hips are opening more or less, you do you. You can have this hand on the inside if you want a little extra space there. Woo, right? Just reminding you, you can always use your breath to get a little deeper, especially on that exhale. All right, we're gonna bring that top arm up. So remember, you can keep that back knee down or you can lift it up as you go up and then we're gonna rotate in. Join me here. If you need to take this from the top, you can, or if you need to stay in that hip flexor stretch, take it up and breathe. 
You can tell I have less mobility on this side. Right. Through the back at least. And hold it here. Sit back into that child's pose one more time. So again, I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. I'll try not to talk too much. Define what feels good for you. Maybe that's taking your knees out more. Maybe it's trying to sit back towards your heels more. Maybe it's reaching those hands. Whatever you need to do to get a little deeper. I want it to feel good for you. It shouldn't feel painful. Yes, we say we want to stretch to the point of mild discomfort, but not pain, all right? Just stretch. Breathing into that. Shoulders side to side. and then find what feels good and rest your head. Let's bring it up to all fours. And I want you to just go cat kale. So I want you to find that good quadruped position, hips underneath, Hips over the knees, knees underneath the hips. Shift your weight forward a bit. So remember, you're not sitting back to here. Shift your weight forward. Hands underneath the elbows, underneath the shoulders. And then let's inhale and exhale. I prefer inhale as we arch, exhale, pull that core in. You do you. Just find a rhythm with it. For me, I know I get extra tight in this lower lumbar spine, so I'm really focusing on trying to find the movement in the low back. I know I can get it in that upper spine, in my T-spine, in the C-spine, up through here, but I'm trying to get this lumbar spine here. silly, but I want you just to do some little hip rolls to the back. If your wrists are bothering you, you can take them to a little fist and then take it other side. Just like that. We're going to get off your knees in just a second. And then let's take one arm under and let's do that child's pose stretch from here. So again, sitting back deep, let your head relax if you can and feel that shoulder stretch. Breathe into that. find that on the other side. We're gonna take it here. Arm under, lean into that shoulder if you can, rest your head down. You can usually tell with this one, I can tell this is my much tighter shoulder. It's harder for me to get down there in this one. So I'm gonna use my breath. sitting as my daughter's preschool would say crisscross applesauce or take those legs out what feels good for you and let your head drop to one side Ooh, that's when I can really feel the weight of my ponytail when I do this stretch head drop not pulling but just over. So if you can take it down to the elbow, go for it. If that's not right, stay up on the hand. And up. Take that 
hand across. And if you can, little spinal twist. So watch me look over your shoulder. If that's not right for you, you just take it here and look over. But if you can, opposite hand across to your knee and looking over. Let's take it center. I want you to walk those hands out. So again, find what feels good for you. Maybe that's here, maybe that's crossed. Walk your hands out. First with your back straight. So sitting up nice and tall, walking it out. Feel how that feels. And then let's release into that. So you can actually let your head and neck relax. A few deep breaths. Feel that stretch in your piriformis in the back of your legs, glutes. Walk your hands a little further out. And bring it back up. Slowly seated position, let your head drop to the other side. Again, if you can come down to the elbow, go for it. Otherwise, stay in the hand. I know we're getting past that 30 minute mark. So these deep stretch workouts, one of the reasons I don't do very many of them is because they take a little while, right? Because we want to be able to hold that stretch for longer. Yeah, bring it up. Looking over the shoulder. Seated spinal twist if you can. If that's not right, just have your hands here and look over your shoulder. If you can, cross and look over that back shoulder. Breathing into it. and come back center. Let's take those knees out. Let's go to that 90-90. You know I love it. This is such a great mobility move. If this is not right for you, sit on the edge of the chair or find what feels good for you based on what we just did. A little seated stretch, child's pose, whatever you need. But we're gonna roll those hips side to side. So a little mobility here, then we'll get that stretch. Now, you know with me, if you can get all the way through with no balance and a fluid motion, go for it. You need to modify one at a time or have your hands here to help you move. I want you to go for it. Whatever feels best for you, again, hip opener. Hopefully those hips already feel open. And let's find one and you can either hold it here or turn into it, or if it feels good for you, move into that pigeon pose. Now, for some of us, it's easiest to come from the plank or the down dog. For some of us, we can get in. But taking those elbows down to start, if you can, if that feels good for you. And again, I want you to find a few deep breaths. If you need a little extra, bring that foot up a little more. You can shift towards that knee that's in the front. Deep breaths, and on the exhale, sink a little deeper. If you can, rest your head down. So remember, it's not just about that front leg, it's about this back leg too. So you're trying to align that hip parallel. Ooh, that feels good, right? If you can, keep that stretch and bring your hands up. Get a little back, back stretch out of it too. Maybe you're already there. And then whatever feels best for you to switch that. Maybe you wanna go back to that 90 and go to the other side. Maybe you wanna take it to a plank. You do you and find that other pigeon. Again, if you wanna sit on the edge of the chair or stay in 90-90, up to you. We're taking it here. Try to go down to those elbows first. You need more of a stretch, bring that leg up.
can just deep breaths into that, sink a little deeper. And then if you can, up, and, up into your hands. Let's come on to all fours. All right, team, so we're gonna do a little up dog to down dog sequence. I want it to be whatever you need for you. If you wanna go child's pose to up dog or child's pose to down dog, it would look like this. Child's pose to down dog, maybe that's good for you. Or if you wanna go down dog to up dog or up dog to child's pose, totally up to you. Whatever you need. Find what's best for you. We're gonna hold for a couple counts for each, and then we're gonna hold them a little bit longer. So starting that all fours, let's press up to that down dog, pushing those heels down, lifting the hips to the ceiling, reaching those fingertips. <sighs> Trying to press the heels down, flattening out the back, and then slowly taking it forward. If you wanna take it to up dog, you can, or child's pose, if you're going up dog or cobra, slowly down, elbows in, bringing it up. So you can come to that mini cobra if you need to, or baby cobra, or all the way up. And look side to side. I'm super tight through here again, that low back. So I'm just being extra careful. Back to child's pose. You can also just go child's pose to all fours, up to down dog. Puddle your feet through here. And then slowly bringing it forward. You can drop to the knees if you need to, or slowly down into that up dog or cobra. Relax your shoulders, gently look at the side. And then if you want child's pose or down dog, one more, let's hold that down dog. You decide, you can hold with a little pedal. Sometimes that feels really good for me, or you can just hold the down dog. If that's not right for you, hold your child's pose, or find a stretch that's good for you. And then coming all the way down again, child's pose, all fours or up dog, looking side to side. Don't worry, not a yoga flow, guys, it's a deep stretch. So from here, I want you to find your version of this up dog or down dog. I'm gonna come, this little modified cobra, baby cobra, just to feel that release in my back. If that's not good for you, you can stay up top or again, take it into a child's pose. Team, I want you to roll onto your side. No, you were worried I was gonna put in like a mountain climber. Let's take it all the way down. I want you to rest in here. Roll that knee forward, that front knee forward, if this feels good for you. And then if you can, I want you to bring that leg back. If this doesn't work for you, I just want you to take it to here. But you're stacking your hips. If you are able, lift up on that foot. Now, that's really hard to do. You're gonna open up that chest and shoulders. So if you wanna just take your foot back, you can even rotate it to here or just rest it here. If you can grab your foot, grab it. It may take a second to get there. And then this is what I was talking about, that little P and F stretch. So what I want you to do is I want you to lift up, tilting that forward, lift up in the knee, feel that stretch all the way through the kneecap. And then we're gonna push your foot into your hand while you pull your hand into your foot. So we're gonna do that push against each other for three, for two, for one, and then release and lift up a little higher. Feel the difference through the knee, through the hip. This doesn't feel good for you. I just want you to find a comfortable position. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here. Let's do that again. Let's push for five. So push your hand and your foot against each other. For five, four, three, two, 
one and then lift up and hold that stretch. So just getting a little deeper while working against each other. Usually this is something you do with a partner, but there are some ways to do it on our own. And then one more if it feels good for you. I want you to push for five, four, against each other, hand and a foot, foot into hand, two, one, and get that stretch. Yes, team. Lifting up. Do you feel the difference around your kneecap, around that tendon? If you're someone who gets some tendonitis in your kneecap, I want you to remember that stretch. And even if you just do it with your foot up on a bench or a chair or the bed, carefully, safely, you're gonna feel that. If you can, I want you to roll to the center. I promise we're almost done. Reach your hands back. Rest your head down if you want. I got that microphone. And then bring those feet up. You can just be here. Or again, if you're able, I want you to lift up to here. Find that stretch. If that doesn't feel good for you, you find what does feel good for you and it might be here, <laughs> right? Or if you can't get all the way down, it might be on all fours or seated. But if you can, lift the shoulders, lift the knees, and stretch. And then let's very gently roll to the other side. So you can just roll to here. I'm gonna roll back. Sorry team, that was loud. <sighs> Getting you out of your zen. I'm gonna roll to this side so you can see me. But I want you to take it all the way down, roll that hip forward, feel a little stretch through there. And then reach back and grab behind. If I'm gonna bring my head up so I'm not on my microphone, but if you can grab it, great. Otherwise you can rotate it out here or roll it forward. And if you can do that little push, remember you're gonna lift up, push your foot into your hand while your hand is pushing into your foot. Let's go three, two, one, and then feel that deep stretch. And then push against it, three, two, one, and then lift. Feel the difference. Feel as you go a little deeper, tilt your hip forward a little more, lift up a little more. And one more time, let's push for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Stretch, not just release, but stretch. Ooh, I want you to remember that, maybe before you're lying in bed at night. Speaking of everything we're gonna do right now, stretches you could do before you go in bed at night. I want you just to do that open book with your knees. So just take it here to the side and then just open side to side, one and then the other. So start with that, feel that stretch through your back. Now, if you want, you can add a little arms with it. So open, little mobility work, knees, and wrist, elbow to shoulder. That thoracic rotation. Open book is a little easier to say than sideline thoracic rotation, right? And then I want you to find your knee drop to one side, open those arms up wide, and if you can, look away from your knees. Find a comfortable position in that. And then take a few deep breaths. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. And one more inhale. to the other side. I'm gonna be right on my microphone, so I'm not gonna go all the way, but looking to the opposite hand. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. I'm gonna bring it up so I'm not on my mic. Inhale. Exhale. 
And then come to center, hug your knees into your chest if you can, just gentle roll side to side. And let's just bring one knee in just to release in the back again. Great stretch that you can do in your bed before you go to sleep at night and when you wake up to release that back. If you want, you can extend it up, flex the foot, get that hamstring stretch. Make sure you're not grabbing on the joint below or above. Ooh. Hug the knee into the chest one more time. And then other side, almost there. Bring it in. This knee can be up or down, whatever feels good for you. Extend it up. Flex. And down and bring it in. And then wherever you are, I want you to find a lying position that feels good for you. Maybe it's flat on your back, palms up, chest open, the knees and feet drop just a bit. Maybe it's on your side, maybe it's hugging those knees in. But give yourself just a second to breathe, focus on your breath, and just let your body sink into the mat or sink into the floor. Feel that openness, open hips, open chest, open pelvis, open shoulder blades, open rib cage, all your joints and bones feeling open, those tendons, those muscles, open heart. It's okay if you're feeling a little bit naked right now or a little bit vulnerable. That's what opening up our body does. That's why there's such an emotional connection to the physical. But I hope you're feeling good with it. And I would love for you to let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of this, maybe a shorter version, maybe a longer version, maybe some specific versions for hips or backs. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and please spread the word. Check out all the information in the comments. I actually want you to stay down, but one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. One deep breath in and out. You can stay right there. Stay there as long as you want, but you did it. That was your cardio mobility and deep stretch workout. Great job, everybody.